Hey, it's Anthony here on Edge of Power Tools, and I want to let you know that I just spent the past three minutes recording myself doing this exact uh, screencast, and I didn't hit record, so I was talking to myself into my computer, but that's okay. So I want to talk to you today about uh, a, a quirk about me that I uh, enjoy about websites, and that is buttons. I like putting buttons on my website because I think people like to click buttons more than they like to click actual links. And uh, it, it, I don't know if it's just me, if I'm, if it makes me weird or whatever, but I think that that, uh, that is just a good thing to do. So I want to show you how to do that. So there's two ways you can create links in a document. Like I said, you can do it the boring way with just links, or you can do it the fun way and make you uh, put in buttons. Don't get me wrong, there's definitely opportunities to use uh, just links, like if you're in a paragraph, you wanna say, you can click here for more information, uh, or to uh, you know link to an article or something that you're referring to or whatever. Totally makes sense, go for it, do it. I do it all the time too. Uh, but if there's just like a, a link that you wanna share with people um, that you want to just kind of plop on your web page, definitely use a button. I think it's a lot more um, pleasing to look at and um, and it's just as easy to do as it is to put in a link. So here we are on my History Fair page. We're gonna go down here into the resources section and say that I want to link out to an article or something like that. So I'm going to uh, insert a text box and I'm going to call this a very important link, very important link. And I'm going to highlight the text and I'm going to click this little link button here, click on the link button, and I'm going to put the website that I'm linking to here. I'm just going to go to Google for now. Apply. So now I have put in a link on my page. Great. It looks very lonely and very boring right there in the middle of the page like that. Like I said, if it's in the middle of a paragraph, it's in some text, that's fine. Do it. But if you're just putting like, want to, want, click on this important link, don't do it as a link like that because it's going to get overlooked. So to do it as a button, it's very straightforward. We click on the button button here, and I'm going to call this a super important link. And I'm going to type in the website here, same process as the other one. And I'm going to click insert. And now you tell me, which would you rather press? The boring link with just text or this fun looking button? I know what I would press. I'm gonna press that button because it definitely stands out more. It's, it's gonna get me where I need to go. I'm gonna press the button. Um, they do exactly the same thing. The only difference is how they look. So, like I said before, I don't know if it's just me, if it's a weird quirk that I experience, but I like the buttons on the websites. Um, so I do use them a lot. Uh, but again, like I said, with the text, you can definitely embed it into a paragraph or something like that, and you do exactly the same thing. You don't have a lot of options to customize the button itself. So it is what it is. You can make it be, thank you. You can make it be, uh, change the length. You can make it be the length of the whole width of the whole page. Um, but you can't really do much more than that. You can change the color by changing the whole color of this background like we talked about before to emphasize a particular section. Um, but that doesn't change the color of the button, but this one does. If you do emphasis too, that will change the color of the button. I'll just kind of reverse it. So it just really makes it pop out, it makes it stand out there. So those are your options for putting it in links. You can, like I said, do a text link if you want to be boring, or if you want to be a lot more exciting and a lot more visually pleasing, you're going to put in a button. Those are my words of wisdom for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Have a great day.